Hi guys, this is Stacy. Welcome to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I'm making crackling, crackling birch soap tonight. Um, I've not made it before, and I was wondering, trying to decide what colors to use. And I know like a birch tree is kind of whitish, grayish, but I just decided I didn't feel like doing that. So I'm going to use Hot Man on a Tin Roof from Mad Oils. This is sparkly brown color and I'm using um, this beautiful turquoise color from Nurture Soap and it's almost gone and I'm not sure the name because it's kind of worn off on the side and I might do a tiny bit of Nurture Soap Orange Vibrance I'm talking like just a small amount maybe just to give it a little bit of um, I don't know just to liven it up a little bit New gloves, yay, they came today, and they're pink to match my stick blender. It's the little things that I get excited about, is what my husband tells me. So, I don't know, we'll see how it sets up. I might do spoon swirl, drop swirl, tiger stripe, I don't know. Haven't decided. solution. I'm going to go ahead and add my cream. I'm trying to get a bunch of soap made and then I'm going to be taking a break from soap making and videos because I need to be wrapping soap for a big show I have coming up. And I do like wrapping, but I will probably take a wrapping break to make soap just because I'll be missing it. go with a tiny bit more of that orange and a tiny bit more of that. Okay, so my base is going to be white and this does have some um, vanilla in it so it may just color a little bit which is okay. I probably...
Okay, I'm back. Um, I just fooled around and put a fork through it. You won't even see that part. I just was goofing around. I decided I didn't want to leave it like that because I bet you it'll um, leave some air holes. The next day to cut crackling birch. It's stuck. Okay. Oh, this is how it turned out. And that's the top. Definitely soft too, so I'll just cut a couple pieces. Swirl. I like that I added the orange. I think it makes it pretty. Oh, I forgot how I swirled this. This was the, um, what do you call that thing? The whip, the whipper. A whip. I just swirled it with that. Is that a whip? Can't I can't think of what the, what it's called. It's kind of different. You can see the drop swirl, and then you can see where I used the whip thing to spin it. I didn't go too deep with it, so you can still see the drop swirl. It's kind of cool. Oh, I like that one. I really like that one. And that one has a little baby heart right there. It's 
smells really good too. I like that um, it didn't get muddy. I was worried that maybe the using that tool would make it kind of muddy. Okay guys, I'll cut the rest off camera. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.